Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. Today we're going to take a look at this, an induction heater, and it uses powerful magnetic currents to melt metal. It's actually pretty simple, and let's do a quick overview about how it works. An induction heater works by sending a large electric current through the coil back and forth, back and forth, creating a rapidly changing magnetic field. The rapidly changing magnetic field makes the electrons in the metal move back and forth really fast, and that's what heats up the metal. This is the circuitry that drives the coil. That is a sandhill crane. This is the... This is the circuitry that's used in the coil. It's actually the same circuit as the one you can buy on Amazon. I just made my own and modified it so I could water cool everything. I even modified the capacitors by exposing the raw terminals so they could be cooled more efficiently. I mentioned the heater's water cooled, so I also needed a pump, a radiator, and fans. In order to power everything, I'm using a 3000 watt server power supply. That is a lot of power. Now I can melt copper, brass, aluminum, and even steel. Molten steel does this really cool thing when you throw it on the ground and it kind of explodes and splatters and a bunch of little sparks like that. The sparks are pretty much harmless and they're not going to really hurt you if they hit you, but you still don't want to get hit by the big globs of it. And yes, I sprayed down all of the leaves to make sure I didn't start any fires. <laughs> that was, that was cool. awesome! I posted a picture of the induction heater to my Instagram and a lot of you had some really great ideas. And then some of you had some... Uh, never mind. Anyway, what we're going to try now is some viewer suggestion ideas that you want to see me trying the induction heater. Let's get started. Well, I know a lot of you are curious to find out what would happen if I stuck my fingers in here, so let's try that out first. All right, here we go. Wait a minute, I'm not that stupid. I've got a ring on it. If I stick my finger in there, my ring might melt onto my finger. So yeah, if you put your finger inside the induction coil, you wouldn't feel a thing and it wouldn't burn you. But what if you were wearing a ring? So we're going to try a silver and a gold ring on this wiener and see what happens to the hot dog. Three, two, one. Ooh, it's sizzling right away. Oh, wow. So what it looks like to me is the gold conducts heat a lot better than the silver ring does. Yikes, I would not want to wear a gold ring around an induction cooker. So I wasn't really anticipating this video having any marital advice in it, but yeah, if you want to, if your marriage is failing, just stick that ring in the induction cooker, sear it onto your hand and you can never get it off again. That's, I guess, might solve the problem. I saw some other comments asking what would happen if you put a lithium battery in there. So we're going to be trying just a simple double A lithium battery right in there. Let's see what happens. Whoa! Oh my gosh, whoa! Whoa! That actually exploded. That was awesome. Power supply did not like that. Okay, I shouldn't breed this. Let's let's check out the high speed. Well, I know they tell you not to dispose of lithium batteries with fire, but that is just too much fun, so we're gonna do that again. <laughs> that that's really fun. See the red flame of the lithium. Oh, now you can't, now it's gone. Oh wait. Ah, it's back. See that red flame? Oh wow, wow! It's like molten lithium metal coming out of there. You see that? Whoa! Now we're talking, that is awesome. Oh God. No way! Okay, that is way cooler than the last one. I'm so glad we did that again. Well, you know now we've got to try some regular rechargeable lithium batteries for science, you know? All right, let's try it. Whoa! Oh, okay. Oh. So instead of that, we're just gonna drop it. We're just gonna drop it right in. Ooh. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no fire, just a bunch of bad smoke. Oh, oh, come on. I kind of like this whole fire theme that's going on right now, so let's try some lighters this time. Oh, 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 oh boy. Yeah! Well, now what? 
Oh, the GoPro. Whoa! Oh, God, oh gosh. What do I do? <laughs> yeah. Turn off, turn off. Oh, poor GoPro is always so toasty. Ah! Good thing this has water cooling running through it or else everything would probably be overheated. I can't wait to see the high speed of that. The next one might get a little bit messy, so we're going to put a shield over all the sensitive electronic bits and put a can of shaving cream right in the center and uh, let's see what happens. This is gonna be, I'm gonna hide. If I hide behind here, I can't get hit by shrapnel. Whoa! Oh my gosh. It's snowing, it was snowing in Florida. Some people wanted to see if a light bulb would light up, so let's try it. Nope, not lighting up actually. What about on this end? Oh, it's on fire. Out of all the things to catch on fire, a light bulb, really? Next, we're going to try to blow up this watermelon. Somebody on my Instagram challenged me to blow up a watermelon with an induction heater, and at first I didn't know how to do it. I think I have the solution now. We're going to take a bullet like this and put it inside the watermelon and hopefully it'll blow up. Let's try it. Here we go. Yikes. Woohoo! That was not nearly as loud. It lucky. worked! Let's check out the slow-mo. That did not, it wasn't as loud as I thought. I was like freaking out. Like I was scared. Let's see if we can find any remains inside of this watermelon. Haha, -ha, here it was. Check it out. If you're wondering why there's black tape on it, it's because I put electrical tape on it or else the uh, watermelon would cool it off too much from being in contact with the grass. But that worked and that blew it up, so there is your exploded watermelon. I wonder if, we'll, if we can find the bullet. Oh, yep, there we go. This is the bullet. I know some people were probably worried the bullet was gonna shoot off and the bullet was gonna go up into the sky and come down and kill somebody, but no way, that is not gonna happen. <laughs> you did? I thought so. No. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be super loud and it was going to shoot track I thought off. it was going to be louder too, but it wasn't loud. I think the watermelon did most of the I would, muffling. Like Wait, I would... we, is this a silencer? <gasps> oh no. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I am tired. I'm ready to take a break. So why don't we try cracking open this drink? Yes, let's try this. Whoa, hey, it worked. That's awesome. Why don't we take a break from the experiments and charge up the batteries for a handheld version that I built. And in the meantime, while the batteries are charging, I'd like to tell you about Wix because you know that they've sponsored me before and they're sponsoring this video also. If you don't know what Wix is because you haven't been watching my recent uploads, well, shame on you, number one. And it's a service that lets you build and host a website at no cost. I mentioned in the beginning of the video that there's more in-depth information on the induction cooker on my website. And I built that website using Wix. Wix combines highly customizable tools and simple features like dragging and dropping items right onto the page. Watch how easy it was for me to build my page on the induction cooker. Just go to menu, add a page, induction heater, boom, got a new page there and it's super simple to add some pictures and text to the page. Wix can be used by anybody and you don't need to be a pro, although the pros will certainly appreciate the helpful tools that Wix offers. Anyway, you can use it for almost any website, business, blog. You can use it to make a tutorial on an induction heater that nobody's probably gonna ever read. Anyway, I wanted a nice, good looking website for a while and I probably wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for the simple features that Wix offers. So if you're looking to create a website, go to wix.com slash backyard and make sure you use that code because it's a great way to let them know who sent you over there and it's also a great way to support my channel. Links on the screen, links also down below in the description. You can find my website there also. Ring the bell on your way down, buy my merch, and now let's move on to the wireless induction cooker. For the handheld version, I used a commercially available induction heater board and for that I needed some powerful batteries which were provided by the makers of the Gens and Tattoo batteries. So why would you need a handheld induction heater? Well, what if you lost the key to a lock and you needed to melt it off? Let's try it out. So first, uh, pump on, and then next we just turn this on and hope it works and doesn't catch on fire because there's a lot of lipos. Yo, it's melting. Watch this. I think when I take this away, it's just gonna fall. Oh my God, I'm moving my toes. No, ah. not, not quite. Oh! Yeah. Nice. 
There, there we go. There you go. Uh oh, the fence is on fire. All right, so it's not even too hot because this one doesn't have a radiator in it, so it can't really get rid of too much extra heat, but so far so good. It didn't melt. The lipos didn't catch on fire. The gate did. Recording. Say you needed to do some acts of espionage or some other kind of spy stuff and you needed to destroy a computer or wipe the hard drive. This computer doesn't have a hard drive, but let's say it did. Let's see what this induction heater would do to it. Induction heater! Take two, take two. That was that was just the pump. I forgot to turn it on. Yes, I forgot to turn it on. I would be a bad spy. Here we go. On. Oh, it's, uh oh. Oh, wow, that was fast. What about down here where all the juicy bits are? Actually, let's destroy the screen first and then, oh! Let's well, like, start a fire, why don't we? Do you see? Can you see right through that? Yeah. Kind of smells good. Whoa. Are you getting that? Are you getting that? Yeah. Oh, that's a good oh. spot. See? Oh, kind of smells good, not gonna lie. If you ever had a cap gun as a kid, that's what it smells like. Now let's see. Oh, yep, I killed it. Oh, it's like red hot. What is that? Oh God, that's the, that might be the battery. Dude, that's bad. Oh! Oh! Okay, I, I would step her back a little bit. It popped the breaker. It popped the breaker, that's awesome, it worked. Wow, look at this bubble. I'm gonna go stick this in the pool to cool it down. All right guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and the induction cooker and thank you for all your suggestions on Instagram. I had a lot of fun trying them out. If you have anything else you wanna try, let me know down in the comments and I'll try it for you. We'll see. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time. Bye.